things to write down. Um, reactivity towards acid and alkalis. Write down boron does not react with. See, in inorganic chemistry, exceptions are, they won't ask you the general trend. Just like I said, ionization enthalpy increases, decreases down the curve. So, they won't ask you this kind of thing, where there are exceptions. Just like I said, electron affinity order of halogens. That's a very big exam, J, E, N, D. Right? So, wherever you are getting this kind of exceptions, that is important, very important. Okay? So, write down, boron does not react with non-oxidizing acids like HCl boron does not react with non-oxidizing acids like HCl however at high temperature however at high temperature the reaction is possible with a strong oxidizing agent boron with HNO3 in presence of H2SO4, when you heat this at high temperature, generally we will take this ratio as 2 is to 1. Okay, ratio you don't have to memorize. It forms what? S3BO3, boring acid. S3BO3, right? Or it forms S3BO3 and nitrogen dioxide bonds, NO2. Wait, sir, it has to be in the presence of H2SO4? Yes, 2 is to 1 the ratio will take. Right? Why do you it's an acidic uh, medium reaction it is. For any reaction to express, we require some medium. So basically. what if I just had extra and at HNO3? Uh, see, um, you can take, that is also a strong uh, acid, right? HNO3 you can take, excess of HNO3 you can take only. In some books, they have written only this, excess of HNO3 gives you this. Purpose for this is to give H plus and hence the reaction proceeds, right? It, it actually facilitated the elimination of NO2 process. And then OH combines with this. Uh, actually, this molecule, if you write down, it is BOH pulverized also. Right, so 2 is to 1 the ratio. So basically, we are using 3 moles of this total acid. Right, that's why we have BOH pulverized here. Okay, so basically, any reaction takes place, we require some medium for this. So we have here acidic medium. If you want, you can take 3 moles of HNO3 of that's fine, you will get the same. So which one's 2 and which one's 1? This is 2. 2 is 2 right? If you take only HNO3, it will 3 moles of HNO3. Okay? Uh, next write down. Boron reacts with... Boron reacts with alkali solution at higher temperature, more than 773 Kelvin. At higher temperature, more than 773 Kelvin. Boron plus KOH, it forms K3BO3 and hydrogen gas. Generally, the you know the reaction of boron is at high temperature only. So it is uh, you can take around 800 Kelvin, more than 773 it is written. So more than uh, 800 around or more than. 800. H2 gas evolves in this process. So this you have to memorize. Boron on reaction with an alkali solution evolves hydrogen gas. Okay. This compound is not important, but the gas evolves as hydrogen gas. Okay. Next write down reactivity towards halogen. Okay. Write down. The elements of group 13. The elements of group 13 reacts with halogen and forms and forms trihalide of MX3 type trihalide of MX3 type write down the trihalides of thallium the trihalides of thallium does not exist why Yes, so TLCl3 has tendency to convert into TLCl by eliminating chlorine gas. Okay. Why? Because here we have plus 3 oxidation state and this is plus 1. How do you prepare TLCl3? It's thallium and chlorine gas reaction at excess temperature. We'll get this. But this is not stable, it converts to this. Uh, so what is uh, so 
was the catalyst. Catalyst we don't use, just helium and halogen at high temperature. So like in general. So, no, no, just high temperature we use. Sunlight, boron we use higher temperature. This, we are not using any catalyst here. It's just a reaction of elements with halogen at high temperature. For boron, we require the highest temperature. Okay? So, we are just heating this halogen with these elements. Of course, okay? See, Ti3 plus has tendency to convert into Tl plus. It is going under oxidation or reduction? Reduction. Means it is a good oxidizing. Right? So this conversion is possible because of the uh, oxidizing nature of this Ti3 plus. Okay, that is the reason. Reactivity towards water. Reactivity towards water. Write down. Boron reacts with water. Boron reacts with water on a strongly heated, red heat, we also call it as very high temperature, and forms oxides of B2O3 type. Next time, gallium and indium, gallium and indium does not react with cold or hot water does not react with cold or hot water unless oxygen is present unless oxygen is present so like O2 oxygen molecule okay reaction write down Tl plus H2O plus O2 Tl plus H2O plus O2. Hmm? And thallium also. In fact, ha, gallium and thallium also. Thallium also. In fact, thallium has a maximum tendency and it forms hydroxide, TlOH. Right? Tl plus H2O plus O2 forms TLOH hydroxide gallium indium and thallium reacts with water it does not react with only water whether it is cold or hot but it reacts with water in presence of oxygen O2 and then it forms hydroxide of this type TLOH right and out of these three Thallium has maximum tendency to react with this. Okay, and forms TL. Write down next acid. Um, write down the acidic behavior of oxides. Acidic behavior of oxides. Write down as we go down the group. As we go down the group, the acidic behavior of oxides decreases acidic behavior of oxides decreases so the order is B2O3 is the most acidic Al2O3 or I'll write on this way Al2O3 GA2O3 IN2O3 TL2O3 Okay, so this one is acidic This as compound is acidic in nature These two are amphoteric, amphoteric. And these are just basic Or weakly basic I'll tell you, that weakly basic Okay, basic means weakly basic Write down the reason. Not as strong, but it is out of the out of these five oxide. This is the most acidic. But it is not as strong. As okay. Write down the small size of boron. Of boron. The small size of boron 
leads to the highest positive charge density on this boron atom. Highest positive charge density on this boron atom, which which attracts the electron pair from water, which attracts the electron pair from water and hence releases H plus ion. What is amphotenic nature? Yeah. Acid and base. Okay. Uh, Aluminium has plus three oxidation state. TL two. It's not that state. It's not that state. See, this is inorganic. We are talking about the possibility. If if they ask you whether it forms or not, yes, it can form, but it is not stable. It's not that stable. Okay, that's why you see the most of the reaction you won't see these oxides in the reaction. They talk about only these two really. Okay? But since we are talking about the acidic nature of oxide, so we have to write down all those possibilities. Right? See, uh, why it is more acidic? The reason is boron is what? Boron is the smallest size we have. So this will, um, and oxygen is electronegative, correct? This boron oxygen bond that we have, so this will, oxygen will drag the bond pair of electron towards itself. And in that way, this boron has partial positive charge. And this kind of charge which is present on this aluminium, gallium, and all these elements. Right? Since the boron has the smallest size, right? So here we have maximum positive charge density. Now, maximum positive charge density means what? If you put this into water, right? Then this will attract this electron pair towards its side. Right? And hence, oxygen this gives this electron, and oxygen will have plus charge on, on this. Now, to stabilize this plus charge, what happens? One of the H plus lose this electron and come out, right? So this tendency is maximum when this attraction towards the uh, positive charge element is maximum, right? And then this bond takes place and H plus comes out, right? That's why B2O3 is the most acidic compound, right? It releases H plus ion into water. Understood this? Okay, so this is the behavior. It's, it is important also, acidic behavior. Next write down. It is only write down. The trioxide of group 13. The trioxide of group 13. Trioxide of group 13 reacts with water and forms hydroxides of and forms hydroxides of MOH. This type of hydroxide. It reacts with what? Water. Water. Reacts with water and forms hydroxides of this type. Right on. The acidic behavior of these hydroxides decreases down the group. The acidic behavior of these um, hydroxides decreases down the group. The reason is same. Okay. So if you have BOH whole price, AL OH price. Even these hydroxides are also not stable. Plus three oxidation is stable, right? So this one is acidic. Again, the reason is same. It is electron deficient, takes electron pair from water, and then H plus goes out, right? And these two are again amphotenic. Basic. Okay. Next slide down. Physical properties of boron. Boron first write down the preparation method. Oh, no, just write down heading boron and then write down preparation. Boron and then preparation. Write down it is prepared by it is prepared by so, but it does the same thing. Like. 
with HNO3 what it forms. Another one is NaOH and the last one is H2. You see with HNO3 and H2SO4 it forms uh, H3BO3. H3BO3 and if H2SO4 you are using then sulfur dioxide evolves. With HNO3, again H3BO3 forms and NO2 evolves. NaOH is that it forms Na3BO3. And H2 gas evolves. H2O is that it forms B2O3. And H2 gas evolves. B2O3 plus H2. 